Um, and then what I did with these is I go over to etc. Zen and I'm more VM zero, uh, for example. So here's a virtual machine. It's going to boot Linux. It's got two gigs of RAM, four CPUs, a uh, Ethernet right there. And then I say the physical device um, VG zero, uh, logical volume zero. And I show that up to the operating system as SDA one, and then um, it's writable. So uh, that's basically how I, I hand off uh, a physical volume uh, device. It's a lot better than handing off a file, which would give you read-write uh, limitations. So that's VM0. There's also one and two. You notice this one differs because it's uh, 4,096 megs of memory. I have two and three and four and five and six and seven. So eight of those. Um, let's look at our machines. Right now we just have a domain zero or DOM zero. The 12 virtual CPUs I can I can use on this. And uh, so what I'm going to do is say um, XM create give me a console um, VM zero. So I'll start up that VM zero. There's Linux booting away and eventually things come up and just take a note of what IP it'll use. So .240, um, and then I hit control, uh, square bracket, close, and I'm out of that console. So now I can SSH to 192.168.1.240. Um, I happen to run that on 420. Um, and what I'm left with is uh, a virtual machine running inside. Dash M, this should be 2 gigs. Uh, indeed it is, um, <clears throat> right there, and we have um, basically a 126 gig uh, block volume here that uh, that we're using 2.9 of, and everything is uh, seems to be up and running on this. We get out of that, we're back to the Zen instance, um, and now if we XM list and we show all the machines running, we've got domain zero and uh, VM zero as well. Um, I only give a thousand megs uh, to domain zero, and then two thousand to this one. And then you know, if we XM create um, VM one and on, we should get uh, all the other machines to come up. So let's uh, let's watch that happen. Okay, so now we have eight virtual machines running on top of this domain. Um, we have, uh, uh, if we go XM list, uh, we can see that we have uh, eight virtual machines and one uh, domain zero. We have two gigs on this one, four on all the others. Uh, and they're all up and running, they're all pingable. I can get into them and, and do whatever I need to do. And so that's how you do Zen virtualization on an enormous piece of super micro hardware. Uh, there is a uh, little uh, IPMI board. Uh, it's effect effectively a little embedded system that has its own Ethernet hardware and runs has its own IP stack and runs this little HTTPS uh, website that allows you to do things like uh, kick over the power and and launch a console. Um, remotely. Interestingly, of course, launch a console. So I have one here and I uh, have the BIOS up here. So it uh, gives you the idea that you can look through the, uh, the system, even edit BIOS settings uh, if you want, um, uh, you know, completely independent of any operating system. Uh, you can actually also drop in media if you want. So remotely you can, you can boot a different OS. Uh, keyboard allows you to do things like send control or delete and that type of thing. Uh, which you can't normally do through a, through a system like this. So uh, let's uh, discard whatever changes I've made here and exit. And uh, let's see the system boot. And you can just sit here and watch it. There's our uh, Zen instance again. We'll hit that. Um, and here's Zen booting up, and, and we can uh, do whatever we want to do. Um, gives you a little bit of an idea of how you can 
manage the system completely remotely. You never have to actually be there unless you need to uh, change a hard drive or, or swap out a power supply. Uh, the system actually has uh, two uh, hot swappable power supplies as well. I don't think I mentioned that before. Um, 1400 watts, um, so they're, uh, they're sizable. Um, here's Linux coming up again, our MPT2 SAS uh, driver, which takes a bit to uh, find things, and then it uh, um, completes the boot. So that's about it for the Super Micro Box that you can get from Newegg. Uh, stay tuned for more of these videos if you're interested. Just uh, jot a note and let me know. Thanks a lot. See you next time.